what is going on people before we start i hope you're all staying well and staying safe it's still crazy here in london and i'm still in lockdown so i'm going to be doing this video today from my house uh, in my bedroom um, today's video is going to be about coil tattoo machines i've got one here um, versus rotary machines which i haven't got here it's at the studio uh, and which one will be better to start with if you are starting out as a beginner tattooist also if you are already tattooing and you want to try out a different style of machine so i'm going to go over some pros and cons of each tattoo machine in this video but before we start though please please smash the thumbs up button and if you're new here think about subscribing because it really helps support this channel right so without further ado um, I'm going to go into a bit of history uh, before we start the video um, just so you get a grasp of each tattoo machine. So we go back to the year 1891 where Samuel F. O'Reilly <laughs> invented the first electric tattoo machine in New York City which was adapted from Thomas Edison's rotary operated pen. Uh, the electric tattoo machines are widely known today as the coil machine or the EM machine which I have right here. Um, if you have ever heard of the term EM machine, uh, it's just a coil machine. Um, coil machines use an electro electromagnetic set of coils, which is wrapped under this wrap here, uh, to move an armature bar up and down, um, which is attached to the needle uh, bar, which has a tight group of small needles attached to that. Uh, that said needle bar then pushes the tight grouping of small needles soldered to the end of the bar into the skin. But with the advancement of technology over the past five to 10 years, especially tattooing has become much more advanced and much more options are available to artists when it comes to machines, power supplies, foot pedals, and other tattoo equipment. Artists can now control needle depth, how hard their tattoo machine hits, and the speed of their machines very precisely um, to make some crazy tattoos. So now we have a bit of background about the history, we will go straight into uh, talking about core machines. Um, coil machines generally range from 8 to 10 wraps. They're also broken up into three groups, liners, shaders and colour packers. Um, I've got a liner here and a shader here, haven't got a colour packer. But the liner coil machine is mostly designed to hit the skin faster and is used to pull a line or outline a, a, a tattoo design in a single pass. It uses a shorter contact circuit around 1.5 to 2 millimetres which causes the machine to cycle faster. Um, a shader coil machine is normally slower and hits the skin softer than a liner um, and is used for shading procedures as the name suggests. Um, the saturation level of said machine, uh, shader machine, is low and uses a bigger contact gap than a liner machine, normally at around 2mm to 3.5mm to make it cycle slower. Shader machines can also uh, be used to sculpt lines in. Some artists will use this type of machine um, for all lines as it allows the lines to be retraced with less trauma to the skin. Um, a colour pack on the other hand is a machine that's designed to hit the skin faster, hard and deep. So solid colour ink can be put into the skin as quickly and evenly as possible. It is set up in a very similar way to the shader machine because it is used to fill in colour and blacks. Um, but having said this, a colour packer machine is not recommended for black and grey shading like a shader is because they are designed to aggressively pack into the skin so you'll traumatise the skin too much. And it's not suited for layering um, ink slowly like a shader will do. Um, just a bit on the hygiene while we're talking about core machines. Um, those of you that are wondering if they are autoclavable, um, well they're not. Um, these machines are normally bagged and covered by artists to protect clients from cross-contamination, um, diseases and the tubes which hold the needles into the machine come in two types. Uh, there's a steel uh, tube uh, or, or grip or there's disposable plastic grips or tubes. The steel types are normally reusable once they are autoclaved and properly cleaned and the plastic tubes are ones um, are like a one use only disposable after each tattoo done on each client. Um, coil machines should not come into contact with high level disinfectant because they will uh, get damaged so cleaning these machines are harder due to how easily they can be damaged. Um, oh and a bit of industry knowledge while we're here talking about machines and stuff. Um, calling a tattoo machine a tattoo gun uh, is normally pretty offensive to most tattoo artists. Also words like inked and tats are words I probably wouldn't use either, although the, those words are becoming a bit more acceptable now. Right, so uh, let's talk rotaries. 
Rotary machines are less commonly known in mainstream media. Um, they were invented in 19, uh, 1978, I believe, by a wonderful guy called Manfred Coers in, in Germany, if I've pronounced the name right, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, he's a German chap. Rotary machines are becoming very, very popular in recent years, almost taking over the tattoo industry completely. Rotary machines are powered by a single motor that spins vertically. The needle bar is attached to the motor to move the needle bar in and out. Uh, rotaries are known to be more consistent than coils because they do not require to be tuned. Um, a process where the artist adjusts their needle depth given power supply voltage to suit their style of tattooing. Rotary machines are less customizable and require substantially less knowledge and finesse, I suppose, to be used effectively. Rotaries are sometimes autoclavable but more often than not bagged and wiped down with high level disinfectant. They're pretty they're pretty simple machines and as technology advances we are now starting to see rotary machines able to have a wider range of customizable parts that alter give stroke how hard the machine hits the skin almost mimicking that of the coil um, which is superior in that kind of field you'll see a lot of tattoo machine companies now making pen style machines which i have got at the studio again i can't show you on this video but i'll put i'll put um pictures and stuff in. Um, Pencil machines, uh, these machines are, are, are a variety of rotary style machines. So the pen style tattoo machine has a motor that is contained in a tubular machine body that resembles a thick pen. These machines use uh, a cartridge system where the needles come in contact um, in interchangeable cartridges that you can pop in and out multiple times during the, the tattoo procedure. Uh, with that being said, you can get good and bad quality needles. So choose your needles wisely. I would go for a more expensive brand of needle. Um, trust me, I've tried a lot of needles from cheaper to high end level brands and it makes a massive difference to your work. It really does. A good needle, for example, contains a membrane to prevent ink from passing through the tube and into the internal parts of the pen machine which can severely damage uh, your rotary machine. Variations of the pen machine have been designed to be completely autoclavable enabling artists to uh, place the entire machine into an autoclave and fully sterilize it. Um, my light's just gone off which is great. Uh, but you can still see me, so, so it's fine. These machines are also completely wipeable with high level surface disinfectant, meaning artists can disinfect the machine easily between clients. So that is a rundown on the coil versus the rotary in terms of how they run. Now let's look at the pros and cons of each machine. So let's do coil machines first. Let's talk about money. Um, the price, the price of a good coil machine is normally cheaper compared to the rotary machine, which is a pro in my opinion. But having said this, a good, mach uh, a good coil machine normally costs in the region of about 300 pounds or 350 to 400 dollars in today's money, in today's market. However, most artists need at least three machines depending on their setup. You may even need over six machines, which adds up quickly uh, because each needle you use needs an entire machine to run it. So if you need uh, to use six to seven needles during your tattoo session, you will need six to seven machines to run them. I have two here, a liner and a shader, or a shader and a liner, um, so that's two machines. The alternative to using that many machines is to stop break down your machine, change the needle and the configuration, potentially retune your machine and start tattooing again, which will add a hell of a lot of time to your tattoo procedure. A massive cod in my opinion, um, compared to the rotary style tattoo machine, which we'll talk about in a minute. The sound of a, a coil machine is very noisy. Um, some artists love the sound. I personally hate it because it can get very annoying after six to, to eight hours of constant buzzing in your ear, let alone the clients here which can make them more nervous um, coming for their first tattoo or and irritated in some circumstances so again a con for me um, vibrations using coil machines can be very uncomfortable uh, many artists find that the vibrations cause pain in the fingers hands and wrists during the long during a long session um, I've personally felt loss of feeling in my fingers uh, whilst using a machine that vibrates a lot again a con for longevity in the industry you really do have to look after your hands, fingers and your back, um, which we'll talk about in another video. The weight of a coil machine tends to be a lot heavier compared to the rotary tattoo machine. Um, some artists prefer the weight of a heavier machine while other others, including myself, uh, find it causes pain in my wrists and my fingers during longer sessions. So again, a con for me. I would say when it comes to the, uh, the ease of use of a coil machine, 
It varies, although these machines are easy to regulate speed and power, you really have to know what you're doing and be familiar with how the machine works to effectively and correct, correctly uh, tune it uh, and operate it. Definitely not a beginner type of machine to use. Uh, having said this, there's no machine quite like a coil machine for lining. Um, you can achieve some of the crispest, cleanest lines using uh, a liner coil machine. Um, replacement and parts for these machines. Parts for these machines are cheap and machines are easy to customize. Uh, cleaning, like I said earlier, or earlier on in the video, these machines can't really be cleaned, only bagged. Um, uh, one of the biggest issues that comes with this type of tattoo machine, therefore a massive con on my list again. Um, let's talk about rotaries now. So the price of these machines tend to be a lot more expensive than coil than coil machines, normally double the price, but since rotaries normally accept a cartridge style needle system, you don't really need multiple machines to run each needle like you do with the coil. Um, one machine will be all you would need in your setup normally, uh, sometimes two, a uh, liner and a shader. So cartridge needle style setup will save a hell of a lot of time uh, during your session too, but like I said, they are more expensive, normally ranging from around £650 or $800 in today's market, uh, today's money for a good machine. A pro in my opinion when it comes to time and money in the long run. The appearance of rotary machines are less customizable because they have less parts compared to a coil machine, but you can find lots of different designs and colors in most of these machines, uh, as well as coil machines. So sound, uh, rotary machines make literally almost no sound, uh, which I think is a massive positive feature compared to the loud buzz of a coil. Uh, much more easy to withstand over long periods of time for the client and artist, which in my opinion is a big, big pro. Um, the vibration of a rotary machine, again, um, Rotary machines are a lot smoother, they don't move in the same way as a coil machine does using springs. Um, so to hold, they have virtually no vibration and a lot more comfortable during tattoo sessions. Um, the, the weight of a rotary is very light. Uh, most artists prefer the lightweight feel of a rotary machine over a heavy coil machine. Others find the heavy coil machine works in their favor during more precise work. The ease of use of a rotary machine requires less knowledge to operate. Um, virtually plug in and use straight away. Uh, something I will always recommend a beginner artist should use is a rotary machine. Uh, when it comes to cleaning rotary machines, um, almost every rotary machine are either completely wipeable or autoclavable which makes them a much safer machine to use to prevent cross-contamination. So, so yeah, to wrap up this video, I think uh, rotary machines are the new age style of machine, especially equipped with a cartridge needle system, which makes it very easy to allow the most beginner tattooist to learn the art of tattooing to their full potential. I really wouldn't recommend starting out with coil machines because there is a big risk to chewing um, chewing up and damaging the skin and getting into bad habits with cleaning etc uh, before you even know what you're looking at. Uh, I would 100% recommend rotary machines to any one of you that wants to start out tattooing. So yeah, so that concludes my video uh, people. Um, please though, if you found this video helpful, please smash that thumbs up button and give it a like. It really helps me out on this channel and supports me um, and if you are are new please subscribe i'm on the way to 100k now and i'm so pleased with all the support and comments you guys leave me so yeah so that's me out guys take care stay safe and i'll see you in the next video take care guys